Okay, just a quick video to update you on the um, quarantine hodgepodge project. As I said in a recent blog post, I really wanted to add a um, Giuliano Blue digital frequency readout to upgrade my frequency readout, which is currently the blue sticky note that you see on the uh, VFO. Obviously, upgrade was in order. So I went out and bought some of these Sanjian PLJ6 LED counters that I'd used successfully in other projects. To my dismay, I discovered that I could not just hook up the, uh, the counter to the VFO, plug in the IF, and, uh, and then have, a, have the display. I, I was able to do that with several other rigs, but not with this one. And the reason is kind of interesting. The, uh, the software in the PLJ basically just adds or subtracts the IF frequency uh, to whatever it's receiving in its input. In this case, it's receiving um, about a 4.7, 4.8 megahertz signal from the VFO. If I plug in the, uh, the IF, which is 11.9983 in my case, it either adds 11.9983 to the VFO frequency which up in the 16 megahertz range, which is obviously not correct, or it subtracts, but it subtracts 11.9983 from 4.7 or 4.8. This gives, gives you a negative result, and when the, uh, when the software in this device sees a negative result, it just, just displays six zeros, which is very disheartening. I played around with this. I tried plugging in other numbers, everything else. It nothing would work. And I went on the internet and found other people had struggled with this. Our friend Walter down in Florida had struggled with it also. It's a, it's a problem that cropped up fairly frequently with the BIDX40 module because of the, the uh, oscillator and uh, IF frequency relationship. It did not affect, mo it does not affect other rigs. It didn't affect my BIDX20, BIDX17, Lafayette HA600, uh, many of the other rigs that I've used this, this counter with. So, not wanting to be deterred, I came up with a solution. And that is, shift, use, use an NE602 to shift the, uh, the VFO frequency to a point where the subtraction from the IF would not result in a negative number. And hopefully, then by plugging in the, uh, the right IF frequency into the counter, I would uh, get it to work happily. And look at this, look at this. Boom, boom. This is a, a moment of success here. Let me try to tune here so you guys can see it. So I oh, got them both in the, in the screen here, look at this. Going up, going, oh no, going up, 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 up. Just about right, look at that. Not perfectly calibrated yet, but I got to, work on the calibration. Anyway, it's working. This is it's receiving the signal here. So let me just show you the device. Here it is. It's an NE602 and my scheme for doing this is described here. So look, got 407 4.7 megahertz coming from the VFO. I have an 11 megahertz crystal in there. It'll result in two output frequencies, 15.7 and 6.3. We want to reject that one. We want to go with 6.3 into the counter, and I'm going to select a 1 megahertz IF for the counter. 1 megahertz plus 6.3 will give you the correct result of, of 7.3. And these are just some of the values I selected for the tuned circuits at the input and the output of the NE602. Here they are. Here's the tuned circuits. There's the NE602. Got it powered by a little 9-volt battery. And this uh, this is the input from the VFO on the hodgepodge. And this is the output to the counter. Ha! Success. It's a good radio morning at N2CQR. Okay. 7-3, guys.